Well, guys, the snow has begun. It's been snowing for a couple hours. Nice, real fine stuff, which is the slippery stuff. Got my grand doggy up here playing with the doggies. But you know what this weather's making me want to do? This weather makes me want to go in and bake some Christmas cookies. So what do you say? You want to come join me while I make some figs? Come along. All right, guys. So I put a cup of water in here. And it calls for a shot of bourbon. And eight ounces of dried figs. My bag was 16. So just a little over a cup of figs go in. go other figs the other figs will be used for other stuff actually it'll probably because I'll make a batch with and without nuts quarter cup of honey All right, zest of half of a orange. Okay. All right, I got the zesting done. So now I want the juice of that half of the lemon. or not lemon, of the orange. If you choose not to use the bourbon, you'd use the juice of the whole uh, orange. But I like the flavor with the bourbon in it. And I have it, so might as well use it. Alrighty. So now we need to add... I think we're up to the vanilla extract. Two teaspoons. My homemade vanilla extract. I will not go back. Mmm, smells so good. I gotta get it. I have to get some made here soon. This is all I have left, but doesn't it look beautiful? Look at that. Smells wonderful. Love it. All right, so now I'm going to turn the heat on, and I'm going to cook it on low. And I am going to just uh, simmer it, bring it up to a simmer, and cook it on for a simmer for 20 minutes. And then I'll just... Turn the heat off and allow it to cool for about an hour. Alright, so how do you like my glasses I went and got today? Got them. They called this morning and asked if we could uh, come earlier for our appointments today because of the storm, which worked out perfect. Because on our way home is when it started. So, But for the dough, I already put a cup of unsalted butter to bring it to room temperature. Now, got to cream the butter, shortening, and both kinds of sugar. A uh, fourth cup of brown sugar and a fourth cup of white sugar. So that's real easy. Just throw it in there. Got a big clump in my sugar. Oh, I hate that. There, beat it down. 
All right. So we got our sugars in there. Put these right away so they're out of our way. Put the butter in there already. So now I gotta see. I'm not using shortening. I am using my lard. Somebody hit on me. Okay. How much lard? Fourth cup. There we go. And yes, I use my fingers. I wash my hands. All right. So, and then we're just going to start creaming this together. And then I'm going to add uh, half a zest from. A or zest from half an orange and half of a lemon. So I'll bring you back when I'm done with that. All right, now that I've added that, the zest and the egg and stuff, I turn this off, but I'm gonna add the flour, salt, cinnamon, and cloves. And then I'll, as I turn it on, I'll slowly add the milk. So, fourth teaspoon of cloves. That should probably finish this container off. Oh yeah. Yep. Perfect. That's garbage. Cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And that's a fourth teaspoon of salt. Three-fourths cup of flour. All right, I got all the ingredients in there, and now I'm going to slowly add the milk. And I'm going to let that mix for just a minute, and then we're going to put some flour on the counter. And the dough will be sticky, and we'll put the dough onto the counter on the flour. Alright, so I just made a big pile of flour here. And like I said, the dough is going to be sticky. So, I will just plop it right on the flour. Boop. Baking is not... A clean mess. You want the bowl, Jimmy? All right. Now we just start working the dough together. Nice and soft and pliable. 
And then what we'll do once we get a bunch of dough or flour worked into it is we will mix, put it in saran wrap and then we got to put it in the freezer for an hour. So that's all I'm going to do is just keep working it until you can make a nice dough ball. Just almost there, a little sticky yet underneath. So, so I will see you in an hour because I got to let the filling cool down and we got to put this in the freezer for an hour. All right, so what I did, it's been an hour. I rolled out, I cut the dough in half, I rolled out, trimmed up the edges. I put my filling into the blender and now I am going to cut a slit. Yep. And we're going to do a line on each side. Just like so. You making snowman now? No, I'm not making snowman. I'm making figs. Okay, and we're gonna set this back to the side. Don't touch that. What? And because there's a lot of extra on this, we're gonna trim it. I'm going to trim this one. Why? Because there's a lot of extra dough. So we'll take that dough and we will make more fig cookies from the extra. <gasps> more cookies! Yeah. Yay! More cookies! We like to eat more cookies. I know you do, honey. Mwah, I love you too. Hey, you want a taste of the dough? There you go. All right, and then you want to just kind of gently fold this over. And just kind of. Oh, one thing I forgot. Hold on. Okay, you got to take water, put it on this edge to seal it. Alex, stay out of that. When you flip it over. Just like that. Yep. Okay. And then just cut them into the size you want. Just like this. Them big. See the size? Them bigger? And then I'll put them on the cookie sheet. Mom, Don't touch Alex. Bigger? Mm, bigger, bigger. Nope. Bum, These aren't bum, supposed bum, to be bum, big, honey. Bum, and I, when bum, I put them on the cookie sheet, I'll put bum, them seam down. Bum, and then once I get all this done, I'll come back. All right, so we got one whole cookie sheet. They're cut. They've been in the freezer for 10 minutes now, and we bake them for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, it's been actually 17 minutes, and as you can see, they're starting to get a nice golden brown on them. If we lift it up, see how it's nice and golden brown? Ooh, get out of the light. So they are done. So now, before we do the frosting, we're just going to let them cool completely. Smell wonderful. All right, I made the uh, glaze of just uh, confectionery sugar with orange juice. And what you'll do is just kind of go around them, throw some glaze on them. And then take a few sprinkles and sprinkle them on. And there you have it. Voila. 
Okay, here they are, all done. I'm gonna pick one of these end ones and we are going to try it. Okay, guys. Really good. Much better than a store bought. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Stay safe and toodles. Look at that. And it's still dumping her down. So beautiful.